Hi all, I wanted to give you the chance to uh, continue practicing over the weird break that we're having now. I hope everybody is safe and well. I haven't been in touch with everybody, but I do want to keep putting some pieces up for us to have a go at. Um, I've got a dusty old guitar here. I look like I've been dressed by the council, but it doesn't matter. So we're just going to have a go at a, an idea that I'm going to sort of develop over a few lessons. I'm going to try and put them up fairly regularly. I'll send this one to everybody. Um, beyond that, you can find them yourself on the channel if you're so interested. Um, this is about um, finger picking and or plectron picking. So uh, there's some text that will be at the bottom of the page um, where you'll be able to download that um, and use that for your own comfort. So we're going to start with this finger picking idea, which is to use classical finger picking. That is what we call the Pima system. P I M A, based on Pima thumb, indice or index, medio, middle, annular, ring. So they're the four generally used fingers in, in classical finger picking uh, and they're based on Spanish words for those fingers themselves, pulgar, indice, medio, annular. Uh, don't know why but they still are. Uh, and the idea is, is that with the text that we've, that we've got we've, we're going to try and get a, a set of three notes to fit into a bar which means that we will go thumb, index, medio, thumb, index, middle, thumb, middle. We'll miss out the index finger on the second, third time around and that will give us a complete bar. We've got a very, very simple pattern. The bass line will be A, E, C, G and it will go text it says p i m p i m p m because that's what you'll do but if you're going to use a plectrum or a pick which is what we call them in real life um, then the pick pattern will be down on the bass note down on the g string up on the b so always down down up to give us that flow our first little exercise. Um, I'm going to skip, skip through these because you can do these at the pace that you'd like to, especially if you uh, download the piece. Uh, so the next thing is going to be based upon the idea of an A suspended two chord. Ideally use fingers two and three because we're going to use our little finger and our index finger to play bass notes. Um, now we could do this finger style or we could do this with the same pick pattern but the same principle applies. It's either P I M P I M P M or it is down down up down down up down up and what we've got is in essence A suspended two with a C in the bass with a G in the bass be really careful on your hold and then an F in the bass which of course is top string fret one so we've got this uh, fairly simple pattern but not simplistic it will go to do is to play with that pick pattern inside of a, a bar of fours so we get one and two and three and four and so consequently we only get eight notes which is why we're missing out the middle beat on each occasion third exercise we're going to do a really similar thing thing in, in fact it's the same thing but in triplet feel so that, this gives us what we call 12 8 timing because we're going to play uh, 12 quavers or 12 half beats
that's a theme that we'll develop. I'm going to develop that idea a little bit over the coming weeks. Um, but for the last part of uh, this little lesson, um, I'm going to make a little variation, which is to say that we'll still play with that triplet feel of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But on the fourth beat, rather than play the same pattern, we'll move down to the open B and catch the, open, uh, the G string, second fret. So we'll get a bit of a change of direction with our pick, whether that be finger style or whether that be plectrum style. I'm doing it with a plectrum pick because I'm holding one. Here's how that version will sound. So that's a nice, simple part for the left hand, except that you need to make a pretty good position for your A suspended two chord in order to play with those bass notes off of the little finger and the index and keep these notes nice and clean. Um, the intention is to develop this idea a little bit, so take this at your own pace, but there's four ideas that might keep you busy in the meantime. Um, I hope everybody's well, and I hope we get to see you soon. But in the meantime, have a go if you get the chance. Uh, bye for now.